Hey guys, today I want to attempt to do my what's in my makeup bag. Um, uh, the kids are napping, so I'm like, a uh, perfect opportunity to do a video. So um, the one I want to do today is what's in my makeup bag. I was going to do a makeup tutorial, but I'm still kind of like iffy on the whole um, setting up the camera and everything. Um, I am sick, so excuse the uh, sniffling and the weird sounding voice um different scenery in the back i have you guys on my vanity so you are seeing kind of my bedroom in the background but um so i kind of just want to jump right into this video i don't want to make it too long there is not much in my makeup bag because it's just one that i take to work and i do such a simple face for work so um i took everything out of my makeup bag and just laid it on my vanity so I can just show you real quick instead of just rummaging through my makeup bag. So I'm just going to get started real fast here. Um, my makeup bag, which is completely empty and it is huge. I love it. It is a bag from Forever 21. Um, I believe you can still get these online. I just like how big it is and it's easy to just throw in my purse and it says beauty all over it and it's like this mint color um but yeah like I said it's empty I emptied it out for you guys and just have all my products laying here so I can show you but um yeah so I guess I'll get started with the products I think these bags are between six and eight dollars because you can get a medium size and a large size I got the large size so it was like eight dollars so that's definitely not bad for a makeup bag and I absolutely love it um, first thing I think I'm going to do is my face products. Um, so I take this, it's an e.l.f. clarifying pressed powder and I always throw this in my uh, makeup bag and I don't use, like to use this all over my face, but after I do my concealer, I like to put it under my eyes, um, and just in my T-zone area after I do my concealer. And I don't like to wear foundation. I just wear concealer because I do like such a simple look for work. Um, another thing is here is my Glamouflage Hard Candy Heavy Duty Concealer. Use that every day under my eyes because I look super tired. If you guys are trying to figure out like why make a bag for work um i carpool with my mom we work at the same place so while she's driving i do my makeup um just because i like, don't feel like doing it in the morning and andrew's sleeping so i really don't want to turn on the lights and wake him up from the vanity and i don't feel like doing it in the bathroom and of course the baby's awake so i just kind of have to shower get dressed and go enough rambling yeah so i do it in the car um another thing for my face is uh, I need to get a new one and honestly I really don't like this I just tested it out it's the wet and wild pressed powder I mean it's okay but I love my let's see if I have one I think I have a broken one in here um I don't know why I'm sitting that out but yes that's almost empty I love my Rimmel um, matte finish powder which this one's broken and I have not fixed it yet so I need to get new, a new one of those because those are by far my favorite and I need to get a translucent one because I also like to use um, like I used today, but I used the rest of it today, is my e.l.f. High Definition Powder, and it's the, uh, Sheer Translucent Powder. That's why I usually like to use it on my face, but when going to work, I like to use a color since I don't use a foundation. Um, another thing I use if I feel like contouring that day, because sometimes I'm, I'm like, I need an extra boost. Um, it's just an NYC face bronzer. This is in... Set in place peach. It's more of a bronzer. It's called a cheek glow, but I use it for contouring if I feel like contouring that day. Um, let's see. Oh, my brushes, which this one broke. I like to use this brush for this part for contouring or highlighting, and then this for all over my face. Um, blush, brush. This is the, um, Real Techniques brush, and this came from a, see it's broken, I need to glue it back together. This came up from a kit from Ulta, I believe, 
I believe. Yeah, I think it came from Ulta. Um, and then my brow brush, which was also from a kit that my sister got me last Christmas. Um, another thing for my face is, I just recently put this in here, it is my, an older blush of mine, but I'm like, my blush was looking a little too dark. So it's just a lighter blush, it's in um, Blushing, and it's just an e.l.f. blush. Um, I use this Milani eyeshadow in French Vanilla. I also use this as a highlight in all over my eyes, because I just want to do a nude eye for work, not too drastic um some days I feel like doing a winged eyeliner though and I use the wet n wild mega liner I've talked about it before in other videos this is definitely my favorite but I need to purchase a new one a lot of the stuff in here I need to purchase new or I have it new and I keep it in my vanity but the blush I was using before was my fox in a box and it just looks better with a full face of makeup I did not use it today today I use my wet n wild peach um, blush but usually I like to use that with my full face makeup um, another thing I keep in layer is the Maybelline medium brown eyeliner it's red and I use that on my brows I do my brows every day because I feel like they're too light and they just look a hot mess because my natural hair color is like this really light brown and I dye it like this dark red. Since I had kids my hair did darken a little bit but I dye it like this red color. Um, so my eyebrows are like this really odd light brown color. So I like to pencil them in. I do it every day and then I take this Avon Pro Brow Enhancer in dark brown and it's a gel that's colored and I use it after that. Oh, I forgot to mention I have another brush sitting here. This is what I use on that Milani. I feel like it looks better when I'm sitting this close. Um, it's the Real Techniques eyeshadow brush, and I use it on my eyes when I put that Milani shadow on there. Um, I always take two mascaras with me. This is the Maybelline Great Lash, um, Big Blackest Black Lashes. Everybody, I'm sure, has tried this. I really love it, and I take it with me. Um, and this one is the Showtime Volumizing Mascara from NYC. I was just trying this one out, so I keep that in there also. Um, if you want to know my favorite mascara, it is actually this L'Oreal, and what color is this in? 675, um, but it's this L'Oreal, it's just in the black tube, and I get it from Ulta. I'm sure you can get it from drugstores, but when I'm at Ulta, I always just grab another. Um, I have a lip crayon in here in this e.l.f. Um, it's a matte lip color. And this is in coral. And it actually turns out like a nude color. So I like to take that. And then I have this Wet n Wild Mega Slick Lip Gloss in nude. This is Sun Glaze. And that just over that matte lip pencil. And then, of course, my EOS lip balm, like always. And last but not least, a um, Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer, because my hands get really gross, like they are right now. And I just put this on after doing my makeup and rubbing it in. And done. Ha! Huh. Um, so that is all I have for what's in my makeup bag, if you want to know what I'm wearing on my face today, because I actually did my makeup today and I put false lashes on and I haven't worn them in forever but forever 21 had lashes um actually I'll just show you what the packaging looks like because I got two pairs and you've seen them in my last haul it's these I have the more natural ones on today these are the more glam looked ones which I wanted to put them on but then I was like well I already opened these ones might as well use them so um I guess I'll show you some of the products I used on my face today because I'm kind of loving this look right now um on my, I'm not going to show you my foundation just because that's kind of boring but um I'll just show you my eyeshadows um for eyeshadows, I use this Revlon Satin. Let's see if I can get it. This Satin. And I just buff that through my um, eyeshadow. And then I use my Milani French Vanilla. And then I use this Milani um, Heavenly Pink eyeshadow. It's upside down. Looks like that. I use that as a base. And then I use that French Vanilla just up by my brows and in my corners of my eyes. And then I use this under my eyes, this Test My Teal Color Tattoo 
um, iStudio, iStudio, <laughs> iStudio, so I used that on my eyes today. It's a really pretty like gun metal color and I love it. Um, and then I just used the mascaras that you already seen in layer. And then of course I've been testing out my Mac Rebel lipstick, which you can see it so much better in this lighting. You couldn't see it in my haul because um, it was really dark and I filmed it at night. But that is the color right there. Um, so that is what I used pretty much on my face today. My blush, like I said, was just a Wet n Wild peach one, which I broke. And that's what it was in my makeup bag. Pearlescent pink. I need to fix these. You know how many broken products they have in here? And I'm just going to keep rambling on this video. But I seriously, like all my blushes are broke. Like, I need to fix this problem. I have so many broken stuff and pressed powders. I have those in here that are broken. I'm just freaking, guys. I know I need to fix all this stuff, like, today. So, okay, I know I kind of rambled on this video, but I wanted to talk about my makeup look today, too. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, that kind of sounded weird. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below. If you want to see more videos like this and like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you have any questions for me or just want to comment and say hi, leave it in the comment box below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!